Hi everyone, um, it's Anne from Reveille Artistry again. Um, going to do something a bit different today. Um, I'm going to attempt to make some sort of a vase. Um, this is the biggest mould I've got and it is actually a cake mould, a cake um, tier, what do you call it? Cake stand, the largest one from the bottom. Um, so inevitably I'm going to have a hole in the middle but I have a plan to fill that hole. Um, I'm going to um, use this as the um, thing I'm going to drape over and sort of mould into whatever shape I want. So let's wait and see what happens. It's all going to be a bit hit and miss. I'm literally just going to use um, alcohol inks to colour it. Um, I've got sky blue, azure blue and a bit of kiwi. I love that. It's a lime green. Do like blue and lime green together. So I'm going to do that um, and then I'm going to try and catch it at that point where I can mould it but it's it's whole, you know, it's uh, you can touch it but it, you can still shape it um, and see where we go from that. I'll just set a timer. Let me just get that little bit of, I can see bits of, I've been over it once. Oh, now that's causing problems. Again. Okay, oh, I stuck to my gloves. Right, so let's, let's go. I've made up 140 mils of um, resin and uh, see where it goes. I'll let it flow out. Probably take most of this. Is that it? Oh, lovely cup of tea, thank you. I'm making a video. <laughs> oh, that's it. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I'll see you in a mo. Yeah. <laughs> that's blowing out nicely. Just be enough, amazingly. I don't think I'm going to have any over. Right, that's all of it. Waste not, want not. There's always more. These cups seem like they're bottomless sometimes, and you scrape and scrape, and you're still getting more out. Yeah. encouragement to flow to the edges. I see lots of lovely air bubbles but this is not a very heavy resin it's not too thick so you know it'll release the bubbles pretty well. Make sure it's touching all the edges. I guess because I want to mould it, I don't want it too thick and heavy anyway. Let's give it a quick. A little stick. This is like that air bubble stuck on the bottom. Up you come. <laughs> Some there. I expect they'll come up in due course anyway. Okay, so this is. Pretty much, I think, all round. It's 
still, still, still scraping it out, still getting more out. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, okay, let's have fun with the colour now. I want the colour to go right to the edge, preferably, but it may pull back, so I don't know. I'm going to start with the darkest in the middle and work my way out. So, oh, let's cut the end off that first. Tiny little end. Let's do, I don't think this will make the slightest bit of difference. Oops. <laughs> oh my Lord. Now what I was trying to say is I don't think, um, I think the colours will do their thing, whatever that is. So I will just keep going. could do this all day just keep putting the inks in because it's so pretty the way whoops <laughs> I've got to keep my mind on what I'm doing can't talk and do at the same time let's go with the blue again Now that blue. Do you hear that dog barking in the background? I don't know where it lives, but it does make a lot of noise. Now that pale blue looks very opaque to me, uh, translucent. I'm just going to put a bit more of this darker blue on. I want the overall look of it to be sort of glassy-like, if you know what I mean. It's uh, Still not pushed out to the edge, is it? How oh, weird. Let's pop a little bit into the edge now. But I want it to be abstract, you know, random, and it's not supposed to look like anything in particular. Just nice, lovely colours together. I'm going to give it a bit of um, a stir up as well, I think. Actually, it probably would have been better just to mix it in a... Oh, wow, never mind. Never mind. What is wet is... Let's put some of this the dark blue in the middle. See how it's sort of pulled away from the edge? Funny. But some colours seem to do it more easily than others. Weirdly. Hmm. Well, very interesting. Now I get this stick, I think, and I think what I'm going to do is just sort of just so that it sort of muddies the edges. It won't leave any 
pattern or anything like that. I shouldn't think one for one minute. See how the blue's pulled away, look. It's fascinating really, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to now give it a quick degas. As I say. And leave it to its own, whoops. <laughs> leave it to its own devices for a while. So um, I'm gonna set it for say four hours. Um, my timer and then I will come back to you. Hi guys, it's Anne from Reveille Artistry again, just to finish off this one. Um, it's, it looks really pretty, I love the colours, but look what happened there. I don't know what that's about because there certainly wasn't a gap there. Um, so, but anyway, it's now nearly eight o'clock in the evening, so it's had um, two, three, seven hours <laughs> and it's pliable but I think it's gonna come out all right. I've been checking it every couple of hours. Um, so it looks like it's, it wants to come out, so that's fine. So I'll just loosen this all off. Come on, come on. So we know it's going to come off. I love those colors though. I'd like to do this one again, just with those colors. I just love the way they've gone. But look how they've pulled in from the sides. I mean, that colour was right up to the edge, wasn't it? So, um, I think that's it. Let's go, let's go for it, shall we? Oh, I'm scared. Oh my gosh, it's like a, a piece of, um, what do you call it? Um, look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it leaving fingerprints? Uh, I hope not. How do I get this out? Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. I don't want to sort of stretch it, you know. I feel like it's elastic -y almost. I'm not sure whether that's good or bad. But first attempt this is, so, you know, usually I wait till everything's set up. I love those colours. Don't go with anything in my house, but <laughs> hey-ho, never mind. Right, let's carefully... I'll stretch it now. No, oh, flip, flip, flip. I'm now stuck again to the <laughs> right. Okay, there it is. Is that the? That's one side. Oh, well, it's the same both sides. So to me, that's a win-win. Look at that. I love the colours. So now I have a plan for this. I'm going to sort that out tomorrow. So I'm going to centre that over my. Now let's see how that falls. Let's try and make it. <laughs> I want to sort of have it like that. Um, how am I going to keep it like that? That's the question. Oh, it's dirty. Let me get some. Oops. More haze, less bees. As they say. sort of fairly even. Right, that's bang on. So I'm going to need to prop this. Um, no, not high enough. Um, oh, I didn't know I need all these bits and bobs. Right. No, wrong side. Um, what have I got? Is any good? No. Need it to be. I just 
getting something to rest on to stop them going lower than they are. Oops. So if that one is okay, and that one is... So it's just resting on that edge there, so it can't drop any further down than it is. Just this one I want to pull out a bit more. Oop. Okay. I'm now going to pop something on there to help keep its shape. Fingers crossed, guys. I will see you tomorrow. I'm well excited about this because if this works, oh my goodness, the world is my oyster. That's what I can say. Um, oh, I'm excited. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. Hi everybody, it's Anne from Reveille again. Um, just to see what's happened with our bowl. Um, I can see a little air bubble there, but I'm not bothered about things like that today. Um, so let's um, undo. Ooh, ping, Ooh, ping, ping, ping. This is interesting. Oh my goodness, can you see that? Isn't that the prettiest thing? Now I know we've got the hole in the bottom, but I'm gonna to see to that. Isn't that the prettiest thing? Unfortunately, there's a little dents on the side where the cups were, but that doesn't matter. I think it just adds to it. Couldn't soon get around that one. Is that where the cups were? Where's... Oh, that's the edge of the bowl. I pushed, maybe pushed the bowl down too hard. Never mind. Um, but look at the colors. Aren't they beautiful? I hope you can see that. How's that? Look at that. I've got a barbecue, a big family barbecue this afternoon. I think I'm going to use it for something. <laughs> I don't know what. Um, right, now my solution for this little bit here, the hole in the bottom, this is going to be a try out. I could just put a bit of tape across the bottom and um, just when I've got doing another pour, I can just using a pipette, just put a little bit in there. Or I could um, just debating whether to put some more, another little pour in the middle, just a thin with some colours in it. Hmm. There's the thought. Uh, well, no, because it will probably still all go Hey, worry anyway, it's not worth the worry. So let me, my, that was my first solution. My second solution is to use some UV um, uh, resin. So I've got this J Diction UV resin. I've also got a light. So if I put a bit of tape on the bottom and put a drop of this in the middle, and put it under the light, in theory, it should make it watertight. Not that I'm putting water on it, but right, just give me two ticks, a bit of tape. Let's have a look. Put this under here, what's that? I'm just gonna pop that on there. Now my my light, I'm going to so if I put if I use the UV light I can't use my big light of my ring light so let's just pop that nothing stuck over right I'm gonna stand my light on these can you see that now will my bowl go under no I'll have to put that there so I'll have to do it like that okay fair enough 
right let's dismantle for a minute so i'm just going to put I'm sure you can see a little bit of this oops these come with a handy you have a, it has an ordinary bottle top but then it has this so that you can just sort of direct it where you want it to go so i'm just going to just a little drop that's gone in there so then I'm going to pop this like that I'll probably put it under there for what's it got um, we've got 90 seconds 60 seconds I'm going to put it under for 90 because it's sort of quite a distance between um, the bit I'm doing and the and the light so let's put it on for 90 seconds And see what happens <laughs> all good fun um so that seems to result that but i am really happy with that first go at um um doing a um bold if you look at this you can see the sides come down very straight so maybe it just needs a sort of bold that sort of chips out a bit more at the edge um yeah just having to think about it I put used a smaller mould. I could just push it down like that, so I, so you can make smaller sort of trinket dishes like that. I just need a bit of bit different um, shaped bowls. So when I'm out in all the cheap B and M's and all those um, cheap places, that's what I'll be looking for: um, bowls to moulds. <laughs> but these these are lo makes a lovely little showpiece. Um, I'll just pop some crisps in it today, just <laughs> just because I want to show off, just because. But you can see how you could um, you could put some glitter into the clear. You could do all sorts. I'm going to put um, perhaps a silver pen, um, you know, to round the edges in a minute, and uh, I'll show you it all dressed up. I'm nearly there. It's a Posca pen I've used. I think a silver, but well, I might use gold. Okay, let's have a little look. Feel. No, it's still a bit sticky. I'm gonna pop it on again. Right, I'm gonna put you on hold and then I'll come back to you in a mo. Okay folks, here's the here's the bowl that we made. Just showing you. I've um put gold round the edge. Just love the way those colours come through. That lovely blue with a bit of green in there. So effective. I can't have hoped for better on my first go. I'm just mega excited. I want to do another one. But I can't think what colours to do. Oh, I've just realised I'm filming this upside down. Ah, great. And then you see down here in the middle, I have um, plugged it with the um, UV resin from J Diction. And it is completely, it took three goes, but that's completely dry and usable. So, um, yeah, well, happy with that. On to the next one, I say. Um, yeah, speak to you soon. Bye.